As Singapore fought back from two goals down to earn a two-all draw against China in their World Cup qualifying match. A goals from Faris Ramli and Jacob Muller wiped out a double from China forward Wu Lei to give the Lions their first point in Group C. Over 28,000 fans packed the National Stadium in Kalang this evening with many of them hoping new Lions coach Tsutomu Ogura would bring about a change in the team's fortunes. Our very own Aslam Shah is reporting live at pitch side. He's here with us now. Aslam, what was the Lions' performance like under new coach uh, Ogura? Well, the stadium may have emptied right now, but just uh, minutes ago, you know, we had over 28,000 fans cheering, mostly from the Singapore side. You know, it was a slow start for coach Sutomo Ogura, conceding uh, to China's uh, forward Wu Lei in the 10th minute. And, you know, uh, despite a safe penalty in, by Hassan Sani in the midst of the first half, you know, they still considered the second goal to Wu Lei again just before half time. But the fans here rallied a comeback for the Singapore national team. Uh, with Faris Ramli, uh, you know, getting one back uh, earlier in the second half. And just towards the end, uh, another substitute, Jacob Muller, uh, hit, uh, uh, scored the equaliser uh, in the 81st minute to uh, have a one, uh, two all draw. And I just spoke with Jacob, you know, he was really inspired by the fans who are here today, uh, who cheered the team on. And of course, it's the first uh, performance under the new coach. And he really wants to bring back the good old days of Singapore football, you know, playing in the Asian Cup and being competitive among ASEAN uh, teams. Aslam, I, I can only imagine the tension uh, in the crowds this evening. What does all of this mean for Singapore football going forward? Well, I mean, qualifying for the World Cup is always going to be a, a mountainous task and it was not really a, a target for the new coach. What he really wants to establish is really a new style of play that they can take forward. Uh, let's not forget, it's only been about a week that the coach has had with this new team uh, to establish his uh, new style of play with the complete squad. So uh, moving forward, the AFF uh, Cup or AFF Championships at the end of the year where all the ASEAN teams will be competing. It is something that the Singapore national team will be looking forward to and being competitive uh, against uh, fellow ASEAN teams. Uh, right now, during the World Cup uh, qualifiers, there's still three more games to play against China, Thailand and South Korea. I think this is really a great opportunity for the Singapore national team to establish their style of play and continue improving under this new coach so that they are ready for the competitions when it comes to fellow ASEAN teams. Aslam, thank you very much for that. CNA's Aslam Shah, they're reporting live for us from the National Stadium in Kalang.